behalf of Jeff and Rebecca, I want to welcome all of you to this special ceremony. It is a happy day and an occasion and a special opportunity to be among God's people. It is appropriate that we seek the Lord's presence as we gather in this special occasion. Would you bow with me in prayer? Father, you have created us one for another. It is with great joy that you join together this afternoon. Jeff and Rebecca, they renew their vows before you and this company. We know that you are already present with us, because Scripture tells us when two or three have gathered in your name, you be in our midst. So we ask that we would especially sense your presence. We are your children. We thank you for honoring us with your presence this afternoon as we share in God's precious name, Jesus. Amen. together on pinnacles of dreams through vows of tears. Along the level ground of every day, we've made our way in sickness and in health, in joy and sadness, together side by side, sunshine or shade. We've worked together, common goals, found satisfaction, and all the hours of which our years are made. All things were possible because we shared, because we cared. After many years, we stood, we still hold the dearest of all life's blessings anywhere on earth. The truth and the honor that we give each other, the love that we gave, that gave our other blessings birth. Praise be to God that I am yours by plan divine that you're mine. appropriate time, how, how appropriate it is that we would look to our Lord and through Scripture and what He talks about and how we should share with one another. So, listen as I share some of the Scriptures that are appropriate. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, hearing and bearing one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bound of perfection, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly and in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another, in the psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace of your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Wives, submit to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do, do not be bitter toward them. In Colossians. Lead, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, it is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endure all things. Love never fails. We you choose. Join, they look at it, join your right hand. Jeff, understanding that this is God's instruction to you regarding how you, should, you are to love Rebecca, as the Holy Spirit empowers you, do you recommit yourself to the love for, to her in this way? Do you promise to love and uphold her and to join with her in making a home that shall endure in love and peace? Do you reaffirm your commitment <clears throat> to a deeper union with her, whereby you shall both know the joy and fulfillment of love. Do you renew your pledge to complete faithfulness through
through all the changing seasons of life, do you now, of your own free will, give yourself completely to her, to love her in body, mind, and soul, that you shall be hers along, and as long as you live, as both as you shall be together? I do. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, five, there's a side joke. <laughs> His first time he said, I didn't say he said, uh huh. <laughs> Rebecca, understanding that this is God's instruction to you regarding how you are to love Jeff. As the Holy Spirit empowers you, do you recommit yourself to love Him in this way? Do you promise to love and uphold him and to join him in making a home that you endure in love and in peace? Do you reaffirm your commitment to a deeper reunion or union with him, whereby you shall both know joy and fulfillment of love? Do you renew your pledge to complete faithfulness through all the changing seasons of life? Do you now, by your own free will, Give yourselves completely to him to love him in body, mind, and soul, that you shall be his and his alone as long as you both shall live.
Think back to that day when you first pledged your love to each other. Your love was young and strong. You had grand dreams and a bright future. Now you have reached a new plateau in your life. You have faced the challenges of children, mortgages, and bills, and still are. You have seen the changes that come with the years, and still you're committed to one another and are giving public testimony to that commitment and this service. As you renew your vows and you make these promises with boldness, your love is more mature and refined than it was. The challenges have been real, but God has been with you. He is with us today as well. He stands as a witness to these vows. He stands ready to help you fulfill them. So repeat your vows with boldness. Jeff, looking at Rebecca, not me, and taking her right hand in yours, repeat after me. I renew now the vows. I renew now the vows. I made. I made. When we became husband and wife. When we became husband and wife. I, Jeff. I, Jeff. Take you, Rebecca. Take you, Rebecca. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love, to love, and to cherish, and to cherish, until we are parted, until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Rebecca, looking at Jeff, holding his right hand, repeat after me. I renew now the vows. I renew now the vows. I made. I made. When we became husband and wife. When we became husband and wife. I, Rebecca. I, Rebecca. Take you, Jeff. Take you, Jeff. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted. Until we are parted. By death. By death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow.
with me in prayer. Father, we look to you as the source of every good thing in our life. Some years ago, you looked down on these two who have pledged their love and commitment to one another. You have watched and participated as their love has grown and as their journey through life has continued. We look to you now for the continuing and renewed blessings on them. Give them good spirits and renewed love for one another. I ask that the fruit of the Spirit would be evident in their lives. Give them a love which is their life. Give them a love which is beyond their natural ability to love, a love which comes from you. Give them your peace and confidence that you are committed to their marriage. Give them the simple ability to be gracious to one another. Grant them the gift of faithfulness. Give them the gentleness and self-control. Bring a new joy on their marriage and allow each to be confident in the love of each other. Give them the freedom to love as you have loved them. Thank you, Lord, for you have given us the gift of yourself. We thank you for this couple, Lord. We ask you to bless this house in rich fold of what blessings. And they would know that you are the center of their lives as well as their home. In Jesus' precious name, we ask you. I now present you Mr. and Mrs. Jeff Kincaid, but you get to kiss the bride first. <laughs> uh, Big five bucks. 